liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying blast. Hi, welcome. My name's Chris, and this is my channel, Maverick Next Gen, a channel about the remarkable two and how to achieve better thinking in this digital age. Boy, are you guys in for a treat. I did a video a while ago up here about how to integrate your remarkable two with OneNote. But this time I bring to you OneNote, Trello, Evernote, and who knows, even more. So if you want to know how to do the integrations, watch all the way through to the end. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notifications bell for more videos that will come shortly. So let's get straight into it. Convert to text and send suddenly made me think, wow, maybe this device can actually convert my writing into text and it's legible and I can use it elsewhere. For example, OneNote. And I have to admit, whilst it, it's only useful if your handwriting is very good, mine isn't terribly good. Lots of things have happened in the Remarkable. Uh, the company has released a new subscription model and I just want to talk about that quickly. They have three offerings. No plan, Connect Light, and Connect. Now I bought this way back in batch seven. Remarkable have literally just released this new subscription model. Before October the 12th, anyone who had bought the Remarkable 2 would get all the services free on the right, which is Connect. Sadly, if after that you've purchased it now, after the 12th of October, you pretty much, if you, didn't buy, if you don't buy a subscription plan, you come with a no plan. And what that gives you is, well, all your notes in one place. You can't have unlimited cloud storage, you can't use Google Drive and Dropbox integration, you can't use handwriting conversion, which quite frankly is very useful. Um, so that's limited and you can't screen share. The reason why I bring this specific integrations video up is for twofold, to allow people integrate with these other platforms without using the Connect subscription. Two, to give you another opportunity, another option, and also that they don't want to use Remarkable, Remarkable's um, applications or cloud. So I, I've been uh, thinking quite a lot. And actually, if I uh, cut over to this, so guys, what I will show you here now is, this is um, a template that I found. Okay, I'll let it out of the bag. It's called Rocket Book. And you guys might know about this before I bought the Remarkable 2, I did lots of research. I was thinking, let me just do a, no a notepad where I just have to write things down and erase it. Basically, I was, I was looking for a reusable notepad. So I had gone through all the preparation of going through um, digital notepads, looking at them, and actually there was this thing called the Rocket Book, which I'll leave a link up um, here. And lo and behold, only just recently, probably as of I think last year, they released a, an app, a Rocketbook app. It works in a really rem <laughs> remarkable way. So long and short of it, guys, if, you, if I show you my, my finger here, I have downloaded a, a template from Rocketbook and actually put it on to my Remarkable. In this case, it is a template, but I'll supply the details of the template on my Maverick Next Gen website. Uh, and you'll find that in the description but also you can use it as a PDF. Now, what's noticeable about this is the QR code down here, the black rim around it, and these special icons that allow you to designate which integration you want to use. So I'm gonna demonstrate this now. So the whole point of this, guys, is twofold, actually. One, I think the OCR, Optical Character Recognition, the Remarkables sent to my script web server, that's really not OCR, that's actually handwriting recognition, which is very different. What I'm about to show you, very well thought out, is that I basically Rocketbook are ahead of the game because whilst they have this notepad that is not digital, they've created this app that allows OCR recognition of your handwritten notes and you can, the app allows integration with multiple platforms such as Dropbox, Evernote, OneDrive, Google Drive, Trello and a lot more. And I'm going to show you just a few of these options. So I've just downloaded the Rocketbook app and I'll put the details in the description. I'll put a detail. I'm referring now. Hey people, in this demonstration, I show you how to integrate your Remarkable Notes with you without using the native tablet functionality with the following platforms. The point being here is if you use the convert to text and send, this is what happens. But the point is you miss out on the drawing. Okay, so I'm not going to send that. Is I'm going to fire up the Rocketbook app. 
There's my Rocketbook app. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to scan this, new scan. You see that? Processing is down there. Each of those icons can be used to set up an integration with one of the destinations. Next, and where do you want to send your scans? So before I do that, I'm going to go and show you. It's, it's similar to the Remarkable app on your mobile phone, but it's, it's the Rockerbook app. And you scan all your, your, note, your notes into this and you can transcribe them. But this is the key part, guys. If you go to destinations, and I've already got these all set up. I just want to show you what my Evernote looks like. So on this, you have a few options. You can change the notebook, change the destination, and I've set the next destination as Evernote. That's my account. And there's, I've already created a, a notebook, which is Remarkable Rocket. You can create another one. So you could just say, test, done, create. And then you can select the test, but for now I'm going to put it in the rocket book and I'm going to click save. Now this is indicative of all destinations. I know for a fact that um, having looked at the, the Google Drive integrations, it goes to the root folder, which is a problem which many people have talked about. Whereas with this setup, you can actually send your documents to a special folder that you designate. You can bundle the scans, whoops, sorry. Auto send, you can also set OCR transcription on, and you can either choose as send as one file or send as two files. Now I've said it as send as one file. Yes, you can do multiple if you wanted to. But let me just show you Evernote, because that's one that hasn't been done. And everyone knows the beauty of Evernote is that you can search text. But actually, you can also do that in OneNote too. So I think I'm going to show you Evernote first. So we go to next transcribing what that means I've already set it up in Evernote to do an OCR what that means is the writing that I read out to you will be transcribed so now I'm going to send it so before that let's go to and I've created a remarkable rocket folder okay as you can see it's sending I cut to fade, look, it came back. I'm not sure if you just saw that, but ultimately it is there. It's further down. Okay, interesting. There is three, of course, because I scanned it three times. Hey people, the integration in this demonstration, I will show you how to integrate your remarkable native tablet functionality with the following platform. And there we have it. The integration does not use a remarkable app. It doesn't even use the, um, the, the integration within the, the Apple OneNote kind of facility that I showed you in my first ever integration video. And you can do this with the other apps. So let me just show you for one other thing. Let's go here. In the OneNote application book, I've already set up the Remarkable Rocket notebook, and these are things that I've just been doing. So let's try and do the same again. So let's use another one. I'm going to transcribe the following. And actually, the this, um, this application is fully featured. You can edit the title up here. You see, test. Okay, and save. But what's more, if you notice, guys, at the top here, there's this hash hash remarkable rocket. When the OCR kicks in, it can scan it and save it as a title. All right, let's can try and get it. Took a picture. Goes into there. Right. So now I'm going to open this up. Okay. You can rotate, 
but what we want to do is we want to go back to it and go to next so this is the, the key step once you've scanned it you click next sorry my thumbs down there oh we can make a smart list as well my smart list yes add to my smart list yes please but as I mentioned, you can actually select the integration, which I've already set up OneNote. Send. So I'm going to send it, and then we're going to flick to complete. But because it's stateless, let's refresh it, and a th third entry should come down with remarkable rocket. There it is, Remarkable Rocket. There it is, V Dropbox. Uh, I see the tick has been recognized as a V. But the beauty of this is that you can search it, right? So if we go to search and go, let's have a look, messages. Can you see that? In real time, it highlights anything that contains messages. So people, what I would say is I think this is a bit of a triumph. As the last thing I want to show you is the Trello integration. So here, if I create a new board and call it Remarkable. Oh, Remarkable Rocket. And say so create that. Let's go to the to-do list and then hit save so that's set up now for the star integration okay let's go back now i'm going to send this predetermined list back to my trello board okay so let's go and do that select it and it was a star wasn't it so we don't want one note we want the star trello and i'm just going to go and refresh my board now hello back in the game and i'm just going to click on that now so let's find out what happens when you do that and we're going to send it click sending and i'm going to cut to fade and there it goes can you believe that that was super quick i think guys i've given you quite a lot of options there using the rocket book rocket book app and i think you will all agree that it may actually be a really useful integration mechanism that's entirely free unlike the connect subscription plan that remarkable has either way do what you will with it and i hope that allows you to expand your thinking and creativity because it allows you to integrate with other platforms and you don't have to wait for these things and it it works it does work very well apart from the caveat where you have to use your mobile phone and a template that you have to download go to my website and pick up the pdf with like a 50 page rocket book and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>